Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel with my drag queen friend Matilda from Mattress and today we're gonna show you how to achieve this look inspired to the pop art uh, 50s and the world. So I start by covering the brows as always and I'm sticking them to the skin with some um, print stick glue and I'm helping myself with a wooden spatula and after I did about two layers of glue um, I'm gonna add some wax uh, because in this way I can really feel all the spaces between the hairs To seal in the wax I'm gonna use uh, some liquid latex from Benai and I'm gonna apply with a small sponge and be very careful to blend the edges into the skin once the latex is dry powder with a transparent powder I'm now gonna apply some orange concealer on the beard area to get rid of all the ashiness Let's move on into covering the brows. I'm gonna use this salmon color corrector from my Krylon palette and it's the number D32. So really push it into the eyebrows. And after applying this color, we're gonna take a skin tone color um, to hide them even more. Now we're moving into foundation and uh, we wanted to have a very pale base um, so we decided to go for this uh, ivory foundation, this is a L'Oreal Too Much um, and I'm blending it all over the face and neck and eyes and eyebrows all over the face and once you blend everything, powder with transparent powder obviously to set the base. my brows I'm gonna use a dark brown eyeshadow because uh, if I do a mistake it's gonna be easy to correct so I'm not gonna go straight away with the black Once your shape is done, take a body of face painting color, this is a black one, so wet it with some water and color the brows and be very precise in the edges so you got a really perfect shape and I'm using an angled brush to help myself with the shape. eyelids we decided to go for a pearly blue eyeshadow um, and you can use loads of them this is just a cream eyeshadow uh, makeup forever uh, do one or there is also one from Maybelline called color tattoo it's basically whatever you can find in the drugstore is fine it's just a creamy eyeshadow and blend it um, till the fake brows uh, I mean till the hidden brows and give the shape you want and now we're starting to build the eyeliner. I'm always using the face painting color. Um, so we do a very, very um, wide eyeliner. And then in the end, there's a big flick going upwards. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, once you finish the eyeliner, to give more definition to the eyes and to give even more the idea of a cartoon, we're gonna also add a line in the end of the eyeshadow. So. Just in the end of the eyeshadow, so trace a line, stopping into the middle of the eye and do the same thing on the other eye. We're gonna highlight the nostrils as well because in every cartoon that you see um, or pop art there is always this um, black nostrils and all the edges of the face are really defined. gonna shape the nose as well so just trace a straight line um, going from um, the middle of your brows uh, the covered brows till uh, the tip of the nose and then we add a small line on one of the brows so it gives the impression you're frowning and we concentrate on the tip of the line so we're gonna make it a little bit round and we're gonna define the edges as well We're gonna shape the face and we're gonna trace a line uh, under the jawline and under the chin. Basically, all uh, the sides of the face. You can add even more line if you want. We just want it to keep it quite simple, so no, there are no loads of line. Um, we're also defining the ears, so just follow the contours of the ears uh, with the black line. gonna define the cheeks and we're gonna trace a line from the top of the ear till the middle part of the cheek and as the color is still fresh we're gonna blend it downwards with a clean brush don't forget about the uh, under eyes area so um, we are gonna apply the same eyeshadow we applied on the top in the bottom part of the eye we're gonna really blend it well and also we're gonna add a black line as well in the outside corner of both eyes it's time to curl the lashes now and add some mascara on top and bottom lashes Yes, Matilda is really getting into the part, practicing some cartoon phases. We are adding now some falsies, big drag queen lashes.
last but not least we're gonna uh, trace a line um, to define the lips and I'm using a MAC lip liner in the color red and I'm gonna fill uh, the mouth with the same pencil. more color to the lips I'm gonna use a body painting color in a red you can also use a normal um, lipstick uh, but I think the body painting one is easier because it dries and you can work on the top gonna highlight the edges of the lips tracing a really uh, white uh, black line have a really cartoon lips we're gonna add some lines into the center just follow your natural lines uh, that you can see on the lips and I'm using a Masca eyeliner in the color scribe which is this pure white um, just to give some highlighting points to the lips final touch is the beauty spot which it can be forgotten so that's the final look with wig on it was a really 50s look cartoon it's really um, good for carnival as well and I hope you like it as always if you do please share your, my video on social media give me a thumbs up and especially don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep updated thank you bye bye